acknowledge Tyler Hayden. Is Tyler here? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, let me stop right now and change that. Yeah. Is it because I'm tall or is it because I'm... <laughs> oh, then it... But... Oh, thank you. Everybody can adjust it. There. Is that better? Yeah. Oh, great. I have a cold. Usually I have a very big voice because I used to do extras casting and I'd have to yell at 200 extras, so I learned to project, but uh, my cold is stopping me from doing that tonight. So, is Tyler here? Do I see Tyler? Tyler's probably driving someone somewhere. There he is. <laughs> Tyler was our transportation coordinator, um, along with his friend Dave, and unfortunately I don't know Dave's last name. Austin, uh, who generously donated the use of his van and also his driving skills to get our wonderful authors to and from the airport to campus to hotel to back again. And uh, so thank you very much for that. You know how much work that, that was. Um, also Claire Huat, who also helped with the transportation arrangements and who also worked uh, diligently on all of the small details that, um, again, um, I know for me anyway, tend to overlook. So I'm really thankful for Claire and all the work that she put into this. Um, there's also some faculty members in the Department of English. Um, um, one who was on our committee member, um, Dr. Runa Sravastana. I always have, I'm <laughs> sorry if I got your name wrong, Runa, uh, who gave us a lot of guidance at the committee and helped us with a lot of the detail work that, that we needed. Um, and Aruna, along with uh, her colleague, Dr. Jean Perot, have um, been instrumental in incorporating Aboriginal content into uh, the Department of English. Um, so we're very thankful. And Jean's on sabbatical this year, uh, or we probably would have put her to work as well. I'd like to acknowledge Robin Reed, who's probably back at the book tables, um, who did a tremendous job of organizing the wonderful titles, some of whom are from our artists and some are from other um, talented writers that, uh, that are not here, but we wanted to feature their work as well. And it's a much larger job than it seems, and I'm really thankful to Robin for, for all that she put into it. Erin um, Wunker, who is in the crowd also. Erin, thank you. She was, um, helped us in organizing the refreshments and uh, the room arrangements on campus. Also more work than you would think. The university is a wonderful bureaucracy. <laughs> There's lots of details that need to be done. I'd also like to acknowledge um, a distinguished member of our Aboriginal community here in Calgary, uh, Joan Cardinal Schubert. Joan, is that right? And uh, Joan was uh, not only a contributing member of our uh, organizing committee, but also one of our amazing panel moderators. Um, the other one of which, is, of whom is uh, Shauna Cunningham, who is the director of the Native Student Center. So thank you to both of you for doing that for us. And finally, again, a lot of our discussion over the past two days, as I said, is centered around making space um, for Aboriginal literature, but also uh, Aboriginal knowledge and content um, on university campuses. And so I'd like to acknowledge uh, Robert Mizell for his uh, initiative to, uh, he's a professor in the English department um, who after some conversations with Sable Sweetgrass and other students basically decided to, that, uh, to just do it and to um, put together uh, the committee uh, of which I'm a member of and uh, to come together to bring all of these amazing art uh, artists and, and uh, authors here to Calgary. Um, so I'm not even going to go into the list of what Robert did because it's time to start now, and <laughs> we've been here for a while already. So I'm going to uh, turn next to our, our first writer of the evening. Um, her name is Jolene Callahu, and she is a full-time student at Mount Royal uh, College in computer information and systems and business, but who also has a passion for writing. Uh, she first discovered the love for words in her early adolescent years and has been writing poetry ever since. Her poetry has been published in Mount Royal College's Red Words Literary Journal, and one of her many aspirations is to create writing that inspires readers to have an appetite for literature. So please join with me to welcome Jolene. To Uh, this poem that I wrote, um, 
because of my love for poetry and words, which are also um, words. words. Words have now become my only escape. I sit upon shrubs and dirt and thoughts about thinking and dreams of dreaming beside myself in destructive hope, squeezing the lemons that have already dried. No juice appears, but the falling of seeds, the seed which grows my soul. The juice comes after. The seed which grows my soul. No juice appears, but the falling of seeds, squeezing the lemons that have already dried. Beside myself in destructive hope, and thoughts about thinking and dreams of dreaming, I sit upon shrubs and dirt. Words have now become my